Yovelim, Jubilees 17. And in the first year of the fifth week, Yitzhak was weaned in this Jubilee. And Avraham made a great banquet in the third month on the day his son Yitzhak was weaned. And Yishmael, the son of Hagar, the Mitzri, was before the face of Avraham, his father, in his place. And Avraham rejoiced and blessed Elohim because he had seen his sons and had not died childless. And he remembered the words which he had spoken to him on the day on which Lot had parted from him. And he rejoiced because Yahuwah had given him seed upon the earth to inherit the earth. And he blessed with all his mouth the creator of all things. And Sarah saw Yishmael playing and dancing and Avraham rejoicing with great joy. And she became jealous of Yishmael and said to Avraham, cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman will not be heir with my son Yitzhak. And the thing was grievous in Avraham's sight because of his maidservant and because of his son that he should drive them from him. And Elohim said to Avraham, let it not be grievous in your sight, rather grievous in your sight, because of the child and because of the bondwoman. In all that Sarah has said unto you, hearken to her words and to do them, rather, and do them. For in Yitzhak shall your name and seed be called. But as for the son of this bondwoman, I will make him a great nation, because he is of your seed. And Avraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and placed them on the shoulders of Hagar and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Be'er Shiva, and the water in the bottle was spent. And the child thirsted and was not able to go on and fell down. And his mother took him and cast him under an olive tree and went and sat her down over against him at the distance of a bow shot. For she said, let me not see the death of my child. And as, she, and as she sat, she wept. And an angel of Elohim, one of the holy ones, said unto her, Why weep you, Hagar? Arise, take the child and hold him in your hand. For Elohim has heard your voice and has seen the child. And she opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled her bottle with water and she gave her child to drink. And she arose and went towards the wilderness of Paran. And the child grew and became an archer and Elohim was with him. And his mother took him a woman from among the daughters of the Mitzrayim. And she bore him a son and he called his name Nevoyot, for she said, Yahuwah was nigh to me when I called upon him. And it came to pass in the seventh week, in the first year thereof, in the first month of this Jubilee, on the twelfth of this month, there were voices in heaven regarding Avraham, that he was faithful in all that he told him, and that he loved Yahuwah, and that in every affliction he was faithful. And the prince, or rather, and the prince Mastama came and said before Elohim, Behold, Avraham loves Yitzhak, his son, and he delights in him above all things else. Bid him to offer him as a burnt offering on the altar, and you will see if he will do this command. 
and you will know if he is faithful in everything wherein you do try him. And Yahuwah knew that Abraham was faithful in all his afflictions, for he had tried him through his country and with famine, and had tried him with the wealth of kings, and had tried him again through his woman, when she was torn from him, and with circumcision, and had tried him through Yishmael and Hagar, his maidservant, when he sent them away, and in everything wherein he had tried him. He was found faithful, and his soul was not impatient, rather Im, impatient, and he was not slow to act, for he was faithful and a lover of Yahuwah.